It's that time, boys. Know Your Meme, the official authority for memes, has put out its top 10 memes of 2022 article out. A year of great memes, I think. I mean, memes are a lot different now. Memes used to be generated all around the internet, first Newgrounds, then YouTube, then Tumblr, then Twitter, but nowadays most memes are concocted in the hellscapes of TikTok. If you see a new meme, nine times out of 10, it originated from TikTok, or at least got popularized there. TikTok is the Disney of memes. Anyway, let's get to the list, which by the way, was user submitted, so you can't complain that we missed some meme that you like, because you've voted for it, you freaks. Yay, democracy. Number 10 kicks off with the classic Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. This was an insane TV moment, which is funny to say because it was probably also the only TV moment anyone remembers for the past decade. TV is like this dying breed. You only hear about it once in a blue moon. The only people left watching it are 60-year-old news junkies and your five-year-old niece who watches 14 hours straight of Teen Titans Go on the weekends. Regardless, the Will Smith meme was huge. A perfect slam. He executed that thing as if he was a trained movie actor. Oh wait, lots of people made pretty funny edits of this, or they'd throw the golden ratio over it. I wouldn't be surprised if the body language expert analyzed the deep spiritual meaning of this slap. It was all everyone was talking about for a while. Number nine is Anbatakam, an adult film performer who created some pretty funny moaning sounds. We'll just leave it there. He sounds like a cartoon character. You can Google that one for yourself if you're interested, you freaks. Remember this little creature? <laughs> and number eight is the TBH creature, a little dude that basically looks like what it would look like if Isaac from The Binding of Isaac started walking on all fours. I would totally step on this thing. Is that messed up to say? I would, I would like lift my foot up. He'd a little gum splat with eyes on the bottom of my boot like a Spongebob episode. It's good to have wholesome memes like this every once in a while though. I mean, it's so iconic. They should add them to Smash or something. Number seven is my brother in Christ, a saying that still gets thrown around to this day. It's a great sentence to throw at the end of a caption meme. Like, Americans be like, gas prices are too high. And then at the bottom, it's my brother in Christ, you made the car dependent infrastructure. It's very fun to say out loud. It's like saying rap scallion or fart lick. Real word, by the way. <laughs> anyway, maybe you'd argue this one should be higher on the list, but my brother in Christ, you made the list. Number six is named Finger, an image you can almost hear echoing in your head. You can hear him deep in there, mumbling. Walter. Getting closer and closer. Mike Ehrman Trout is a great character, and the delivery of his lines became quite the meme this year. The best part is that this is sort of just a chaotic meme born out of brute force. I mean, the original image is an ironic, silly joke to begin with. Teacher, all right, class today, we're gonna finger paint, and the caption says, kid named finger instead of kid named paint. But this went so far down the rabbit hole that the punchline without the setup became a joke in and of itself. Doesn't even make sense. You just see this goddamn picture of Mike everywhere you went, just standing there. Okay, Walter, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at number five, with 6.3% of the vote comes in quite Wandale Dingle, the silliest name to ever grace God's green Minecraft Earth. The shit posting surrounding this name was pretty funny. If I saw Quandale Dingle on a ballot while I was voting, I think I would just vote for it out of pure admiration. It's just such a good name. The fourth most popular meme this year, according to Know Your Memes poll, is the One Piece is Real meme with 8.5% of the vote. Howard Hamlin reading that out will never escape the deep, deep chasms of my sad, meme infested brain. I wish I could escape, but I can't. I wake up at 3 a.m., sit up straight, and all I hear is the One Piece is Real! Number three is the No Bitches meme, clocking in at 10% of the vote. An awesome reaction image that I saw all over Twitter this year. The greatness comes in the creativity and flexibleness of this meme. You could change the noun to anything to fit any situation. No riz? Let's face it, if you're still watching a top 10 meme list, you definitely have no riz. And definitely no bitches either. Number two is Dr. Leafsy, with a whopping 23.4% of the vote. It's hard to deny how badass Dr. Leafsy is. Maybe deep down, we all wish we were a little like Leafsy. But we're not. We're not chads. There were definitely a lot of really good, high-effort fan animations and content featuring this guy this year. The Soviet animation stays winning. Well, it's time for number one. Drum roll, please. No, sorry, not my tempo. Can you slow it down a little bit? Thank you. Okay, here we go. Drum roll. It's Morbius. So, oh, okay, come on. We all knew it was going to be Morbius. This was memed so hard that we even tricked the goddamn movie theaters to put it back into rotation. I mean, that has to be one of the funniest outcomes in meme history ever. The memes literally not only gaslit the entire world into thinking the movie might actually be good, but we gaslit the film industry. <laughs> Sometimes memes are pretty funny. If you weren't there to watch that never-ending Morbius Twitch stream, you weren't living this year. And just like Morbius sweeped the theaters and our hearts, it easily sweeped this 2022 vote with 36.7% of the votes. Anyway, what was your favorite meme this year? If you can actually answer that, I'd consider going outside more in 2023. Peace.